Hey guys, Christina here, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm finally sharing with you a second part of a drawing that I think I first shared with you at some point in December. And um, the idea behind this drawing was that it was part of my zodiac sign series and it was supposed to be Sagittarius and Capricorn. And in that first video I shared with you my Sagittarius drawing and now I want to share with you my Capricorn drawing and I'm going to make sure to um, put the picture of the first drawing on screen so you can see how the two relate. Um, but the basic idea was when I started the piece was that I wanted both characters to be on the same page and be part of the same artwork. Uh, but just uh, the size of the paper that I had um, made me, like if I, if I were to put both characters on the same page they would have been too small so I decided to uh, do each of them as an individual artwork. Uh, but the two characters are still interacting. Uh, the idea is that kind of like the Capricorn character stole the Sagittarius character Arrow and she's kind of like playfully running away from her and the other character is kind of annoyed and she's like, what the hell you doing? Um, but yeah, that was like the, the main idea. It's really simple. It's just one of those like really fast artworks that you do for fun sometimes and it wasn't anything with too much of a deep meaning or anything like that. I just quite like the simple idea behind it. And I tried to like make both of the pieces in the same style. So uh, the first piece that I finished was the Sagittarius one. And if you've seen that video, you know that I did quite a thick outline. Um, for the work and this is exactly what I'm doing for the Capricorn Morn uh, just using my Copic Multiliner and at that point in time I only had one thickness uh, so I was going over my lines a few times to make them thicker um, and I was using it like the normal way for the lines that you see in the background for the constellation but I'm pretty happy with the way the line work turned out. I really enjoyed uh, doing it and I really liked the way it turned out in the end. Um, after that I just started colouring um, nothing super different than what I usually do. Uh, the only thing that was different in this piece is that normally, you know, if you've, if you've been following me for a little while, you know that I don't usually do like a full, full body figure. Uh, I prefer to draw like larger features, face features and things like that. So it's always a lot of fun when I do a full body illustration and um, just seeing how those skin colors that I normally use just on the face look on the rest of the body. And I really like the turquoise and the pale pink, um, the way they work with the skin tones and that kind of glow that they give to the skin. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, also, and it happened for the Sagittarius video as well, I like colored that character uh, in turquoise and then I was looking at birthstones and one of the birthstones for uh, Sagittarius was, uh, you know, turquoise in color. And same happened with the Capricorn. I colored her in a lot of shades of like pink. Um, kind of fuchsia maybe, I don't know, it's not exactly fuchsia but you know what I mean and um, I was looking at the birdstone and again I noticed that there is a birdstone in that exact color so I think it's just something like subconsciously you've seen that color used for that sign before and um, maybe that's how I chose the colors but it, you know it's a happy coincidence I think. Um, unfortunately, I lost one of the clips when I was coloring part of her ta tail and part of her hair. But I think that might have happened when uh, I had my problems with my laptop when I poured that color over it. I just can't find the file uh, anywhere. Uh, but I, I feel like you didn't miss that much. Uh, for hair, I always start with a solid color and then I add details on top of that. So I think you've just missed the solid color pretty much. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all everything that I have to say for this video. 
I uh, hope you guys liked it and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.